Welcome back adventurers to Let's Play Baldur's Gate. Now, last time, a number of events took place. First and foremost, we have retrieved the lost soul that is Braj, the captain of the Amish Guard here in Nashville, and we brought him here to the Temple of Helm to be healed instead of uh, executed at the hands of his own garrison. We have taken from him the very sword that was gifted to him by the Nashville, by the Amish Guard in Nashville, and which sadly took the lives of Braj's own family by his own hand. The second noteworthy event is the encounter with Dridst do Erden, who spoke of how we could infiltrate the ranks of the Black Talon and Chill mercenaries currently in the employ of Tezog, the same individual that hired Malahay to taint the iron ore in the Nashville mines as part of the you Iron must gather your party plot. before venturing forth. Now, I've rearranged my party back Please. to its uh, original configuration and uh, We'll take my leave of Nashville. Yes, indeed. All's well that ends well. And things now must end. But before we leave, we shall uh, pay a visit to the shopkeep and sell all the uh, various gems and the like that we have um, Not a problem. in our been possession. Poor, what with the iron shortage and all. Hopefully we can solve that at some point. Um, hmm. Might as well sell that short sword. I don't need it anymore. We could sell the uh, curse sword for um, 500 gold. I might actually give that to Tayrum. Rather than keep it down here in Nashville where we have all these rings and necklaces that, uh, and gems that we can uh, relieve ourselves of. Uh, is there anything else? Mm, no. You made yourself a fortune there, good sir. And, uh, the price has actually gone down because we, uh, by rescuing Braj, we have actually um, increased our reputation to uh, 18, which actually means that we get 30% uh, discount on uh, items, and ultimately we are at a uh, heroic level for being um, reputation 18. Which probably doesn't mix well with um, being a chaotic good, but um, we are trying to send a message to uh, Tezok and his ilk about the uh, rise of Rashagast Greyhelm. Trust me, there is a purpose. And uh, interestingly enough, now that we're at Reputation 18, we will actually receive a... Uh, the party itself will receive a plus three reaction adjustment to uh, any NPCs we encounter. Unfortunately, uh, when we reach uh, um, a reputation of 19 or 20, as we are likely to do, um, Jihiro is going to be very unhappy. She's going to break, but, well, she's not going to break, I should say. She's not going to leave the party. Any evil... Um, people in our party would be angry at us right now. Uh, but, um, hmm, that's really neither here nor there. Fairly well, good shopkeep. Please. And now let us make haste for Baragost and meet up with this uh, Transig who is waiting in the Felpost's Inn. 
You might be able to tell us where the uh, mercenaries are hiding out, as it were. It really is a, a good operation. Um, destroy, you know, ruin a mine in one area and steal all the uh, raid all the caravans carrying untainted mine and stockpile it in another area. With ease. Yeah, we still don't see what this predicament has to do with uh, our situation with um, Not a problem. in regards to the armored figure. Though we do know that the bounty hunters in question must have been paid off by Tazog. It will be done. Now, uh... Yeah, head up to Tay Rooms and uh, see what's going on. Oh, thou wonder. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. That's oh, you, the old man. You... Well now, our paths cross once more. I suppose proper introductions are in order, as we will no doubt meet again. My name is Elminster. I've heard nothing but tales of thy exploits in the time we have been apart. It would seem that thou art destined to have quite the impact on the Sword Coast. Quite the burden for one so young. As if meeting Dritz to do Erden wasn't breathtaking enough. Adventurers, this man is indeed the legendary Elminster Omar. The mighty wizard in red of Shadowdale and the byproduct of uh, the a character created by the master himself. Ed Greenwood. The tales of Elminster himself actually uh, transcend those of the mighty Dritzt. And he is a uh, force to be reckoned with. He is a mage. To say that he is a mage of uh, decent skill is a woeful understatement. He is a 29th level wizard. And he may have actually, he has been rumoured to have uh, visited Mithranor in the, before its unfortunate demise. I believe he is an aide and scribe by the name of uh, Leo, who uh, assists him in his tower in Shadowdale. And, um, he does travel the realms uh, on certain occasions. Though he tends to stay within his uh, community there. But, um... There are a lot of rumours and speculations surrounding the uh, history of Elminster himself. And it is said that he learned his arts from none other than Arkan the Old. A man who is, uh, whose own uh, legend has been obscured by the myths of time. I was not aware my actions were common knowledge. Perhaps not common knowledge, but everything is plain to those who know where to look. As it is, I am aware of thine efforts and accomplishments. Thou art quite adept, as Gorion predicted. All that remains is the determined motive. Gorion, you knew him, but you said nothing before. Twas neither the place the, nor the time for such things. As painful as the circumstances may have been, it was time for thee to forge thine own path. One of the val most valuable lessons life has taught me is when not to go sticking my pipe into other people's affairs, such is the case now as well. Um, we could try to get him to uh, elaborate further, but as he has just said, that that is something that he really does. So we shall be on our way, as it should be. Thou have quite the journey ahead of thee. I do have one bit of information to impart, though tis likely old news for thee. The bandits that thou dost seek make a habit of travelling in the northeast.
I met that strange man again, though he now identifies himself as Elminster. All who walk the realms know of this man. Though what he should find of interest in me I do not know. He said that the bandits I seek make a habit of travelling in the northeast. Again, I must wonder my, why my concerns are worth his attention. Wait. Something has just come to light. A connection of sorts. No, not that. Um, various bounties and things like that. Um... I may have gotten rid of it, actually. I may have, um, inadvertently, uh, disposed of it, somehow. Oh no, here it is. Garion Scroll. Notice the word, notice the symbol down there. Notice the E. I don't know, it might be a little bit far-fetched for me, but um, could it possibly be that this, uh, that the E in question is, um, oh, I don't know, Elminster? Could very well be, especially considering the fact that he is quite familiar with our foster father. I stand ready. Strange times indeed, that we should receive uh, interest from uh, not one but two major, major figures in the With front ease. realms. And unfortunately it is uh, night time, so, uh, so Tayrum has uh, retired to his quarters. Not a problem. Even time indeed, so um... Hmm? It will be done. It's a child. Rushagast, Rushagast. Someone in the jovial juggler has give, gave me a gold piece to find you. So down, breathless child. Who is tossing about money in hopes of finding me? She's off a survey and she's with the flaming fist. And you needn't worry, she's real nice. Thank you, child. You've earned your gold piece. I will go to the jovial juggler and meet with Officer Vi shortly. Good. You folks are real nice. Mama says that the Sword Coast needs some real heroes these days. Tybora be with you. Curious encounter? Officer Vi, hmm? Yes? Well, it turns out that um, we're actually uh, right next to the jovial juggler. Uh, is uh, rather convenient for us. Right on the corner. So let us go inside and see what this officer of the flaming fist wants with us. Can I assist you? I stand Make ready. Sure that, Not uh, a problem. Can I assist you? She, she talks to me instead of Emmerwin, because I am Rashagas Greyhelm. That's the that's the unfortunate thing. About again relating to the pathing and the programming, real talk there. That um, characters go ah Rashagast when they're talking to say Emowyn or Jahira, and you go no, they are not Rashagast Greyhelm. Um, I am. These southern parts are quite a set of fire with talk of your work in Nashville. I'm off to survive the flaming fist, and to be honest, I could use your help. Now, um... I suppose I, uh, could mention the first, uh, conversation 
seeing as how um, I am chaotic of sorts. I d I'm not entirely fond of the... Uh, well, I'm not entirely fond of the lawful types in the realms. I, um... I would like to keep things as civil as possible. I'm honored to be found worthy of your notice, officer. How may I be of assistance? My contingent and I are cut off from Baldur's Gate. We haven't received new orders for close to a week, and to be honest, I don't like the feel of this at all. The bandit raids have been getting worse since you returned from Nashville. That's not really surprising. I used to think that they were just your usual brigands out to make a quick buck in troubled times, but not anymore. They're working for someone. One way or another, I've got to get my troops back to the gate. I'll pay you 50 gold pieces for every bandit scalp you can bring me, and spread the news. I want this whole region cleared before winter comes. Officer Jessa Vi of the Flaming Fist is marooned in Berogost with her contingent. In her desperation to return to Baldur's Gate, she's offers me 50 gold for every bandit scalp I bring her. She'll be waiting at the Jovial Juggler. Now this did actually didn't um, occur to me many, many years ago. But um, yes, you can actually... Um, acquire the scalps of bandits. Which, now that I think about it, hmm? is uh, rather odd, to say the least, and it I actually done. did not want to go outside. I actually wanted to rest at the inn. With ease. Dumb. There you can see the uh, flaming fist that are accompanying Officer Vi. You want some whiskey? And, uh, let us rest at a, at a decent room. But, um, we spent eight hours and it's still relatively, um, night time. It will be done. Night will probably actually be somewhat good for our, uh, for our purposes, for we wish to head to, um, I believe we wish to head to um, Felposts and uh, deal with this Transig before he makes his uh, escape. Um, just move past these uh, various caravans. And uh, Elminster said that the bandits like to hang out in the northeast, but um, we don't really know for sure certain that that's where they'll be, so that's why we need to uh, talk with Transit. Not a problem. Ah, uh, felt posts. Bit too rich for my tastes, but um, it's always nice visiting here. Hopefully we, uh, we have quite a lot of gold at the moment, but hopefully if we get some more, we can, um... And what's this? Uh, Khalid can spy a, um... There's a man called Algonon, um, he's over there. I believe that this man over here is uh, the man that we seek. So I'm going to quick save here. Yes? Cool! Squeaky wheel gets Minsk. the kick! Um, I can, but try. You point butt kicking for goodness! Nature servant away for the group. They're called? No less. This group shows promise. Exceptional. I stand ready. Not a problem. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. This way. Whatever they need. Let's talk more fight. 
Squeaky wheel gets the kick! I'll give him trouble. Why do you bother me? Can't you see I'm in a hurry to get out of this town? Could you tell us why you were in such a hurry? I'm not gonna tell you guys anything. Get out of my face. We know you're up to no good. Now tell, you, tell us everything you know. You know what I'm up to here. Eh? Or maybe you know something... Something you don't know is my magic skills. If you ain't out of my face in the next five seconds, I'll blast you to kingdom come. He is wielding a mage. And, um... We'll get him to surrender. Hmm? Um, do they wish my ear? Of course we do need him alive. Go for the eye Go for the eye you. And that was, um... That was relatively straightforward. We were only meant to intimidate him, and fortunately we interrupted one of his spells. I give up. Please let me live. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Spill your guts, then. If what you say satisfies us, then we'll let you live. Nice talk there, Jahira. Okay, Oteo, talk. I'm a messenger for a man named Tazok. I just ferry messages between him and a fat mage named Malahay. Uh... Yeah. Malahay is neither fat nor is he a mage. He's also dead, uh, if that helps. I meet with Tezuk at either Peld Vale or Larswood, east of the friendly I'm in. Tezuk pays me good, so I keep my yap sat. Can I go now? Where can we find this Tezuk? Tezuk? You can find him in the Wood of Sharp Teeth. He's the captain of two groups of bandits. Their camps are always moving, so I don't know how much luck you have in finding them. Can I get out of here now? Yes. Oop. Nope, nope, yes? he's, he's running away. No problem. We, uh, we're done. We're done. He's, um, he won't be bothering us anymore. Well, that went relatively well. And nobody died. Not even Transic, surprisingly. A dumb other matter of business is um What you want? I believe I'm we can done. actually pickpocket this man uh Algernon. But um He has a cloak. Oh, that did not work. I'm just going to see if that is the case. <laughs> You're I'm gone. And Transic is still panicking like a fool. Pickpocket succeeded. We got a cloak. Don't mind if I do. Mm, not a problem. I should probably get around to, uh, hmm, I should probably at some point, uh, beef up my own, uh, pickpocketing skills, as well as those of my, uh, stealth, just not doing too well at the moment, but, um, yes? Um, noted down our uh, encounters in the um, in the journal, the things that Transic has mentioned, and if we actually uh, scroll up here, there is the uh, bandit camp in question, the Wood of Sharp Teeth. A dumb. Um, in order to actually uh it will be done find Tazog, we'll need to uh hit what either Peld Vale or Lars Larswood East of the Friendly Arm. Um no. 
could actually Not a problem. um You want some whiskey? I got some cheap beer. Could for actually you. rest at the friendly arm here at the moment. So um Just having a look at this uh Amulet of protection plus one. Thirty-six thousand gold. Um, I want to save my gold for uh, something important, so um, I'll just buy a uh, peasant room and be on our way. With ease. Um, check in with um, Fiby Delvin here and see what's uh, what's been going on for all time's sake it's so hard to find decent folk nowadays uh, next time you pass through Candlekeep you should read the history of the Bell in the Depths it is an old favorite of mine that you would like he doesn't really say anything else of uh, note fairly well with ease um, now we have several things that we can actually deal with here in uh, Beragost, such as uh, Landrin's house, which I believe is uh, the small building next to the jovial juggler down here. There is also the matter of um, of the mad cleric Basilus, who is. Uh, hiding somewhere and also needs to be brought to justice. But those are uh, for another time and we'll possibly look into those when we return in the next episode of Let's Play Baldur's Gate. As always adventurers, until next we meet.